and welcome to Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is my favorite game of all time, so getting to say that feels so good. And as of today, exactly five years ago, I started a walkthrough of this exact game. I showed off all the things in the game, all the achievements, every mission, showed off all kinds of cool vehicles and really pushed the game to its limits. But I've always wondered, can we play this game without vehicles? A lot of people to this day are disappointed that this is not another Banjo platformer, so I want to find out, can we play it as a platformer? So let's go ahead and with this series, find out. Can we play Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts without vehicles? Let's, let's get started. So we'll go ahead and start a new game. There's like a nine minute opening cutscene, but that's not important. Well, I don't think this part's gonna be too difficult to play without vehicles. Yeah, again, I don't think this part's gonna be too difficult without vehicles, considering we don't have any yet. Oh, come on, Banjo, get the cool one. Wait, actually don't get either of them. This is a no vehicle challenge, Banjo. Don't break the rules. And there goes the challenge. But guys, cutscenes don't count. Cutscenes do not count, okay? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and zoom on in. Hopefully this is the last time you will see me driving a vehicle in this playthrough. There we go, get that vehicle destroyed. That is exactly what we needed to see. Oh no, the hula pigs from my dreams, they're back again. Look at all of this world we have to explore on foot. And cutscene over. So now at this point, we are gonna have to do a little bit of tutorial stuff but it's over pretty quickly and we are unfortunately guys going to have to get inside of a vehicle as part of the tutorial but we shouldn't have to uh we shouldn't have to actually drive it let's go ahead and get this and here we go let's flip this bad boy over we do have to hop inside just to end the tutorial and now we can get back out and from this point on guys we are no longer allowed to use the vehicle which is going to lead us to our very first roadblock is right here we have these warp pads around town we can unlock them but we actually cannot warp on foot so we're not going to be able to use fast travel at all during this so let's talk about how do you actually beat banjo kazooie nuts and bolts what does the challenge have to accomplish hey let's go grab a 10 note right here so what we have to do is get enough jiggies to unlock that door right there, right? Man, it's been so long since I've played. I can't remember if it's 75 or 76 jiggies. I think it's 75 we need to get. So that's it. We just have to find 75 jiggies we can get without vehicles, and then we can go do that and beat Grunty, and we win. So we can go ahead and unlock the first stage right here. All we have to do is talk to Log, and there is the way to open it. But before we go inside our first stage, guys, I have something I want to do. I want to run around Showdown Town and collect a bunch of notes because we can go and buy stat upgrades. Most importantly, a speed upgrade, which will increase our running speed. I've timed it manually before, and each speed upgrade increases our walking speed by 10%, up to a maximum of three upgrades, so 30%. And considering we're going to have to do these car races on foot, I think that having some speed upgrade is going to be very good. So before we go inside there, let me just run around Showdown Town and grab a lot of notes. We're going to need quite a bit, probably, I don't know, a few hundred. So this might take a little while, but these notes always do come in clusters of 27 for whatever reason. I don't know why they do this, but whenever there's like an area that has notes, they always do seven of the bronze ones and two silvers, which are five each and then a gold, which is 10, so it always adds up to 27. For example, on top of that building right there, there's going to be 27 notes up there, so we'll go ahead and check that out. We can even do some uh, some speedrunning type stuff and try to get up there by grabbing onto some crud instead of going up there the normal way. So we can go like this. Oh, come on, Banjo, get up there, you crud. No, you crud! Ow, oh, okay. Okay, guys, I'm a washed-up speedrunner, all right? There we go, we're up there. And I dropped the note. So let me just go grab all these notes real quick. Goodbye, vehicle. The great thing is I don't have to worry about collecting those crates. I don't need vehicle parts because I can't use them. Thankfully, we can get to the top of this building without too much trouble. There's a lot of notes up here, but we can just go ahead and jump along here, grab onto this fence, or I guess sign, and jump up like that. And there we go. Grab us some more notes, dude. More notes. I'm going to be so sad if we get to the first mission and we can't even complete it because we're too slow. The first mission, we do have to travel a fair distance. Some of the missions are not going to be that big of a deal because you don't really have to move very far. But anything that's like a race, it's going to be tough. Over on this side, we have a buttload of notes as well, including a sneaky one kind of hiding underneath the staircase here. Now, there's also a little side quest we can do where we can deliver Jinjos and Minjos around town. We can kind of like... I don't, know, I don't know, we have to arrest them basically, and we get notes for that. So I could try to do that as well, but I have to talk to a particular character to activate those side quests, so I have to do that first. More notes over here. Yay, here's a fast travel I can't use. I would really like to get up this ramp. If I can get up here, that will be very good. Let's see if I can do this, Crud. Oh gosh, it's a slippy ramp. Oh, dude. Oh, man. I gotta find a way up there. 
Maybe I can jump up this building or something. Hmm, can I jump up any of this, Kron? Maybe up here? Uh, eh, get up there. Yeah, dude, now we're doing it. Okay, oh, if I can get up here. Yes, I can get up top, dude. This is so good. Hey, there's even more notes up here. All right. So I can go ahead and grab these and we're up top, up the ramp, exactly what I wanted. Let me just swim down this and grab all these real quick. Oh, I see more notes on top of the building back that way too. And you know what? I know there's more notes across this way. So let's make sure we get these. So one really cool thing we can do with platforming is if we attack, we can actually jump out of our attack in classic rare fashion. So they can get a little bit of extended jump distance on that. So let me go grab these. And there we go. Let's go get back to that water. Man, we're collecting so many notes. Don't worry, guys. We will get to some vehicle or <laughs> some challenges where we're supposed to use vehicles. But these notes are going to be very, very important. So it's just something we got to do real quick. Don't want to miss that. Go. We got that one. Now let's see if I can get on top of this building without having to go and use the tight ropes. I think if we go like this, uh, not quite. He didn't grab on. Maybe like that. Oh, uh, no. Oh, we can just jump right over here. Oh, it's slippery, though. Jeez. New plan. Let's get on top of this sign. And then we should be able to go like this. Come on. Uh, yes, we made it. Okay. Just got to be very careful because we will slide off the sides if we touch them. Looking good. Got that. And over here is that gold we're looking for. We are now over 200 notes. I will not leave you behind, little notes. I need you. Got them. Yoink. And there's even more notes on that tightrope, so we'll see if we can get up there. I just need to grab this real quick. And all right, how are we going to get to that one? Uh, I think I might see a way. Can we jump up right here? I think if we go like that, can I reach this? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's find out. No, no, no. Banjo, get up there. <sighs> can we jump on top of this door? Ooh, kind of. There we go. We're up there. So now I just have to walk around here. Is this a slippy roof? Don't be slippy. Uh, it's not slippy. We're good. We're good. We can just jump up top, and there we are. Let's go across this tightrope and get all these notes. So satisfying. So satisfying. Oh, do I have to jump? Oh, gosh. You know, I can just grab them and drop them into my head like that. I'm just going to drop them, and I'll go swim into them later. There we go. Give me all those notes. There are some more up top there, and I think we can actually walk around and just grab those. So let's do that. It might be a, a bit of a long walk, but we can do it. Oh, wait. This is slippery. All right down here, we've got some notes as well. Let's go inside. So let's go ahead and grab all these. And right over there, we've got some more. Honestly, we're probably pretty close to being able to buy all the speed upgrades. There's also strength and stamina upgrades. I don't know how important those are going to be. Um, I don't think they'll be as important as speed, though. And that'll bring us up to 300. Not bad. Another cluster right here. Let's go get all these stinking notes, Banjo. You know what? I might as well activate this fast travel point, even though we can't use it. Yay. Oh, what do we have here? Some notes? Yeah. I have no idea if we're going to be able to get these ones. That is a slippery slope right there. I might be able to, like, use a box and, like, set a box down and then jump on the box to avoid the slipperiness. But let me let me just try to get up there manually first. There is a couple tricks we can do. We can just, like, spam jumps and that can help a little bit. Let's see. Come on. Attack. And we made it. All right. So we got these ones down. We're almost at 400. I think at 400, I'll go buy the upgrades and we'll get this stuff properly started. There's two more clusters I want to get at least. There's one underneath the arcade here and there's one like right over there inside those little beach houses. Ah, uh, yes. We will be back here a little bit later. Right there is a freebie jiggy. So we can get that added to our jiggy counter just by grabbing a switch. The only thing is you can't activate that until you've got your first jiggy already stashed. So we have to go beat the first mission before we can get this freebie. You know what? There are some notes atop that building there. So if I can get up there, might as well get those too. But let me get the ones in the beach house as well as along the bottom of the building here first. Yoink! Hooray! More fast travel! Yeah! You know what? There are notes up there. Can we get up there, though? I'm gonna skip those notes on the building back there. I'm getting kind of lazy. So we'll just see if we can get up here and we'll, we'll move on. I'm thinking if we jump onto this pipe, we might be able to... Yeah, maybe we could do that. Oh, dude, that was so easy. So easy. We don't need no vehicle for this. There we go. Climb on up and get all kinds of stuff. Look at that. There's multiple golds up here. This is a... No! <laughs> this is a lot of notes. Dude, we're going to be at 500. We're going to be basically at five, oh, almost 500. Right over there is where we can buy the upgrades. So we'll just walk on that way, pick up what we can along the way, and we'll get that crowd. We definitely have enough for the speed upgrades. And there's really only two more note clusters I plan to get. There are some up there on that big crane, but that is going to be a pain in the butt to get to. So we're going to just go ahead and grab these. And then there's going to be one more little cluster next to the guy where we can buy the upgrades. In fact, I might even buy the upgrade first because I'm pretty sure I can already afford it. 
and then I can go get the other stuff after. And I'm pretty sure we're about to get our final fast travel point as well, so we're doing a great job collecting the useless stuff. Yes! There's the fast travel point, and the guy will be right there in front of the building. Yes! Hey, Boggy, give me some speed upgrades! Okay, so we're gonna have to buy one, two, three. So that was only like 280 notes. We're way overkill. In fact, let's go ahead and buy all of the strength upgrades as well and one of the stamina upgrades. We can't get all of them yet, but we almost have maximum stats and we haven't even entered the first stage. Well, let's go grab these. Maybe we can buy one more stamina upgrade. You can see we're running a little bit faster now, which is great. I mean, again, about 30% about faster. I'm pretty sure it's exactly 30% faster. So let's go get these guys and uh, we'll see if we can buy that last upgrade, which I think was 40 notes. No, we're not going to quite have enough. That's fine. All right, guys, with that, let's go and run over and do our first mission and see, can we even get one Jiggy with no vehicles? I feel like we might be able to. Some of the challenges have, well, all of the challenges have a thing where if you get a really good time or a really good score, you get a trophy, but you can miss the trophy and still get a Jiggy as a reward. If you get four trophies, you get a bonus Jiggy, so that's why you want to get those, but... I mean, if we can at least hit the Jiggy time, we're fine. So the stage is already unlocked. Let's enter and let's see if we can do this. Nutty Acres, Act 1, going in. Gosh, this is going to be such a weird video if I can't even get this. If I can't even get this one challenge. All right, so it, it is going to start us... Oh, gosh, dude, my Xbox hard drive is struggling. If you guys see any little freezes, that is my Xbox hard drive struggling. I probably should play this on Xbox One. I do have that version, but I was too lazy to hook it up. So we're going to go, guys. So all these missions, we are going to start in a vehicle, but we're just not going to drive. We're going to hop out. Oh, uh, dude, as you can see at the top, the blue timer is the trophy timer. The yellow is the jiggy. So the jiggy on this one is extremely lenient. So we're not going to be able to get the trophy, it looks like. But it looks like the jiggy itself will be no problem at all. So this first challenge, not really a big deal. Not every mission has something so lenient, though. Some, some straight up are probably going to require a vehicle. We actually almost got the trophy. I might try again and try to take a straighter path because it, that was really close. We almost, almost got that trophy. So I'll try one more time and see if we can get it. But hey, we got the first Jiggy at least. Jump on out and I'm going to try to take the straightest path that I can, which is like right through here. I think we just have to go across this bridge right here and we can go up a fence on the side. This is what you do during speedruns. If you're speedrunning this game, you take the vehicle and then you drive it through the side right here and you get there in like 17 or 18 seconds. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this with uh, on foot. Now, we might be able to knock down this wall and then start the mission over and have the wall already be down so it's not in our way. Oh, gosh. It's going to be close, man. We are so close. That was it. Okay. I'm going to try again. I think this is going to be doable, but we have to be, like, perfect. Let's hop on out. We just got to get a better line. Maybe this line's better right here. I don't know if we can use the cow to boost or anything. That feels like a much straighter line that we just took, though, to get to this bridge. We could swim as well, but I don't know if that's going to be faster or slower. I also don't know if jumping slows us down or not. So let's just go along here and see what we can do. I got stuck for just a second. Come on. No, dude. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if that was my best time. It was. So we're like one and a half seconds too slow. Might be technically doable, but it is so tight. I'm going to go ahead and... Call that one done. So we got our first Jiggy. That's good. And now we just have to stash that Jiggy. So we'll hop right out the vehicle and we'll run on over. So normally what you're meant to do is get these Jiggies to drop it into your vehicle and then you drive it over. But we're going to have to deliver these by hand one by one. Not a big deal right now when we're right next to the thing anyways. But later on, we're going to have to carry one thing at a time across the entire map. And to make things worse, we can't fast travel, so it's going to be a pain in the butt later. But for now, let's go get to Nutty Acres Act 2 and see if we can do this one. Man, I'm noticing a lot of loading lag with the game. I didn't have this problem five years ago when I did the first Nuts and Bolts playthrough, but I guess my Xbox is like 15 years old now, so maybe it's struggling a little bit here. Yeah, just like that right there. So we'll hop out, and we've got three missions to do here. This one up here, what we have to do is take an item and transport it. And they actually give you a pretty slow vehicle, so I'm thinking that... Uh, because the vehicle's so slow, maybe our running speed won't be that big of a detriment. So we might just be able to pick up the item and carry it. Oh, might as well grab these notes while we're here, just in case we want to buy that stamina upgrade later. So far, guys, we have not failed a single mission. We're not going to start now. We're not going to start with the second one. So the item we need is right next to it. We just got to pick that up, and we have to transport it. So let's get going. The spot we have to take it to is where that target is pointing. Oh, gosh. Once again, we have a very, very long jiggy timer. So it might be a little bit tedious to walk it over there, but... 
We're probably not getting this trophy, but we're probably going to get this Jiggy without any trouble at all. Keep in mind, again, this vehicle is pretty slow normally, so we're not even losing that much speed. Let's dodge that guy. We might even be able to walk it up the ramp over there and get the trophy, but the problem is that's going to be a slippery ramp and uh, might not work out so well. Oh my gosh, that guy just destroyed me. That's okay. We'll grab this and try some more. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, buddy. I'll kill you. Yeah, take that. Okay. Well, all we have to do is walk this through. Not even going to be a challenge. Die! And there goes the trophy. We got a couple more dudes right here. You know what? I was gonna, I was gonna get them. Ow! You cruds! I don't remember these guys ever being a problem normally, but I guess we get new challenges as we try to defeat these guys uh, on foot. That is. Let's get them. Okay, back on track, back on track. So all we have to do is walk up this tunnel and turn it in. And that Jiggy is now ours. I'm going to walk over to that ramp and see if I can find a way up. And if I can, we'll try this mission again and see if I can walk up that crud on foot. Oh, we got some notes along the beach right here. Honestly, I don't think we're going to need to collect any more notes for the rest of the game because the stat upgrades are all we really need to buy. The other things you can buy in the game are vehicle blueprints and vehicle parts both of which we do not need. So yeah, this is probably overkill. I think we're basically done collecting notes for the entire game. So here's what we need to find out. Is there any way I can just run up this ramp? Not like that. I'll try and find a method here. Is this side still slippery? Yes, it is. Okay. Can I get stuck on this thing? Yes, I can stand on that, kind of. Okay, I can stand here. Where can I go from this spot? Uh, can't get up that way. What about this pipe right here? Oh my gosh, I just got an idea. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Do you see it? Do you see this beautiful thing? Right here, if the position of the item doesn't reset when we start the mission, we might be able to just lay this on the ramp and walk up the tunnel to get up this thing. Please let this work. I, I'm gonna be so happy if this actually works. This is like the perfect size to get up this, sl this slope right here. Watch this, guys. We just walk on in. No longer slippery. We have a little bit of slip up the top here, but we could probably just jump that. And <laughs> look at that. We can get up. Okay. As long as that stays there, we are good to go and we can get this stinking trophy. Well, moment of truth. Will the tunnel of love stay in position? Let's go ahead and grab this and let's go see. It's still there. It's still there. Our strategy, guys, it's working. Oh my gosh. I just got to walk over there. Oh no. The timer might still be a little bit tight. It might be a little bit tight. Can we make it? Can we get this darn trophy? Please tell me our strategy is going to work. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh. Yes, we're up. So close. Please. Please. Do not run out of time. No. No, dude. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're one second. We're one second off. That's doable. That is doable. That was less than one second. I just have to do that a little bit faster. We can do it. No, the crab! I actually did worse that time. Oh, gosh. Dude, I'm getting progressively worse. What the? I'm gonna have to reposition this thing, I'm thinking. So let's go get this into a better spot, because it's, like, slightly incorrect right now. What if we stick it right here? That should work, right? No! I think we got it. I think we got it. So now we can go like this, jump into it. Oh, can we get? Can we do this? We just walk up? Oh, gosh, dude. Two jumps? Oh, it's gonna be hard, but we might be able to do this. Jump from an angle? Oh, I might have to do an attack, drop the item, and then pick it back up kind of thing. Like that. Boom. Pick the item back up. Walk up like this. Do a jump. Do a jump. That should be better. That should be better. Let's try again. Come on. No, dude. No, not like this. I'm up. I'm up. Come on. Come on. We're like right here. Come on. Come on, you crawl. Don't miss it by one second. Dude. I missed it by... A second and a half. This is so doable. I have to get in there first try. I have to get in there first try. No, dude. Come on. No, dude. It's so hard to get it first try for some reason. Oh my gosh. These darn grunty bots are messing with me. All I have to do is jump into the thing first try. And it's like you, it takes so long to get there that you just end up choking by the time you actually show up, you know? That's not a missile. I'm not going to do no weird side crud. I'm just going to I'm just gonna jump at it and I'm going to attack. Easy. Just like this. Come on. Come on. Yes, we're in there. First try. Come on. Just get up there, Banjo. Yes. Come on. Three, two, one. Yes, we got it. How much time do we have to spare? We had three, 0 0.39 seconds to spare. Or no, wait. 0 0.61. I don't know. Math is hard, but dude, 
We got a trophy. We actually got a trophy. All right, two more missions to do here in Nutty Acres Act 2. Let's go see if we can get them. Now, this one's going to be tricky because this is literally just a race mission. So... We just gotta race this guy, and hopefully we're fast enough. Let's go. Let's see how fast this dude is. Can he beat my walking speed? Dude, he's too fast. Slow down, you crud. Oh my gosh. What if we cut these corners really tight, though? We have to hit every single checkpoint that's just part of the game. Now, I don't know if we can just, like, stop this guy by killing him or by putting something in his way. So we'll have to try that if this doesn't work out. But I'm gonna try walking first just to see if I can beat this dude on foot. Oh my gosh. No, he's so fast, dude. He's so fast. Look at him zooming. Oh, jeez. There's the goal. Take a wide turn. No, he's too fast, guys. Okay, so we're gonna have to find some way to stop him. I might be able to just attack him right at the start. I can't remember how close he starts to us, though. No, I think he starts too far ahead. I don't know if I can just go right for the attack on him. Let's find out. And no, so we're gonna have to go find an item and see if we can put that in front of where he's going to be And maybe that'll stop him. I mean, maybe we could just drop an entire tunnel in front of the guy That'd be pretty convenient. So I'll just go ahead and casually set this tunnel right here. Oops, drop my tunnel My bad trophy Thomas. I did not mean to do that. Do not tell me I set it up perfectly for him to drive right through it Oops, I've got to jump out the thing. He's driving right through it. You crud. Oh, 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 oh. stay 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 all right, that should block him a little bit better, I think. It's kind of hard. It, it keeps rolling back to a weird spot. It's hard to get it perfectly lined up. That looks good. That looks good. So we should be able to go in there, but he can't. So, yo, he's just driving right into it. Awesome. So we can just go around while he's stuck there, and hopefully that gives us enough of a lead to make this happen. The only problem, guys, is we have to go for a second round. We have to beat him here and then beat him in the round two. And I don't know where we're going to start round two, so I don't, know, I don't know if that item is actually going to be blocking them still. So we'll find out. But for round one, we're looking good. Look at the map. He's moving. He's moving. Uh-oh. So he might not get stuck in round two. If he doesn't, then we're doomed. We might have to skip this mission. But round one is ours. Uh-oh. The tunnel's not going to block him, is it? He's He fixed it. You crud. No. My tunnel. You get over here. Take that, Trophy Thomas. Did he get through it? He didn't get through it, did he? He did. Oh, I was too slow. Darn it, dude. Die. Die. No. Um... Hey, tunnel, maybe that's good. Yeah, you get blocked, buddy. There you go. You're not getting through that. All right, guys, we just beat this mission, no problem. It's not like he's just gonna go around, is he? <laughs> no. Okay, will he get stuck for round two? Looks like the thing is still there. It's still there. Okay, we can do this. We're definitely not gonna get the trophy because the uh, the goal for the second round here is actually pretty far away. So I'll be I'll be satisfied with just the jiggy at this point. To be able to win a race where we're supposed to use a vehicle on foot, that alone is pretty satisfying. Guess we're being a little bit cheesy and we're blocking him with an item, but still. The only thing is, though, guys, as we get deeper into the game, there's going to be more than one racer. Right now, it's just me versus him, but some races have, like, seven other people, and I don't know how I want to block seven other cars, you know? So, for now, we're making it work by a little bit of cheesy tactics, but I, <laughs> I'm nervous about the rest of the game. Let's just put it that way. So we'll just walk to the end here. As you can see, we are nowhere near getting the trophy. There are some missions like Nutty Acres Act 1 where we could probably get it if we do things just right. But this one, I don't think there's any hope of getting a trophy. Unless there's like some really weird crud. I don't know. But I I'm pretty sure this trophy is just not going to happen. So we'll just get this uh, jiggy right here and be happy that we have not failed to get a jiggy yet. We've gotten all the jiggies we've tried so far. So that's pretty satisfying. Let's run through that checkpoint. And boom, we got it. And there's one more Jiggy to get here in Nutty Acres Act 2. And this one is not a race, so I don't think this is going to be... I, I don't know. I, I don't think this is going to be too hard, but we'll see. Hey, bud. Let's go talk to them. So what we have to do is there's going to be three hot balls. And we have to get those hot balls into the water to cool them off. So we have to basically walk back and forth across the map. How lenient is the Jiggy for this one? Okay, there's a decent Jiggy time there. So, yeah, we have to walk to the right side of the map, then all the way to the left side. So we might run out of time here, but the speed upgrade we bought probably going to come in pretty handy. This first one's very free. We just walk up and grab it. Uh, but the other two are the trouble ones. They're not in weird spots. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the fact that they uh, are so far away. And yeah, that one should just roll right in there, hopefully. Cooperate. Cooperate. Okay, that went in. So we got one down. Let's get this grunt bot off of us. And we'll walk over and get this ball. Ball number two. Honestly, we're going pretty quick. I don't think we're getting trophy quick, but I'm honestly not... Not bad. So there's two down. We got one more over here. Dude, is this, is this trophy doable? I don't know. Once we get to the ball, there's still a ways to go before we actually get to the water. 
but this looks doable. I mean, I haven't been taking the tightest lines either, so we could probably shave off like two or three seconds. So we might just get a trophy here. Let's see if we can just roll this down the hill. Come on. It can go faster than I can. Let's get to the water. Get to the water. Come on. No. Please get there. Come on, come on. Get to the water. Get to the water, you crook. Okay. I think trophy is possible on this one, but we didn't get it this time. I might keep note of the fact that this one might be possible, so if we get stuck at some point later in the game, we just desperately need a trophy to continue, we can come back to this one, but I'm not gonna grind this one out for now. But guys, that is Nutty Acres 2 basically done, and that is where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this first episode. So far, the challenge is going really well, but of course, the easiest stuff at the start of the game is the stuff more likely for us to be able to do it, so... I guess we're going to go ahead and, like I said, wrap this one up. We'll come back next time and try to do some harder stuff and see how that goes. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this challenge so far. Thank you to my amazing supporters over on Patreon.com slash Psycho. You guys are the best. And until next time, take care.